that proverb, wow. you'd get out of your wilderness. Oh, you would. You know, it's, yes. it's not hard, but we have to get this negative speech out of ourselves. We have to stop speaking negatively. We have to stop confessing our problems. We need to start confessing what we're going to become, what God can do with us, what God can do through us, and it's going to shift and change us and get out of our problems and move into our future. That's what I say to people that are hurting. That's what I say in this book. You may be hurting. Yes. God loves you. God cares. Get your confession in agreement with God and don't be talking all this toxic speech because it's ruining your opportunities to proceed. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Oh, Arizona, I hope you're enjoying this interview as much as I am. I want to ask a uh, senior pastor of Skyway Church, uh, Pastor Greg Brown, about in the book it talks about you need to identify the people it's time to eliminate from your life. A lot of people have a tough time doing that. But what he's saying is so true. A lot of the negative, toxic conversation, the negativity, comes from the people you surround yourself around. We are true products of who we surround ourselves around. So if you're, for instance, if you're someone that always wants to quote a scripture, like that Proverbs of Day that he referred to that you read, and you have someone else saying, oh, I've had enough of that Jesus stuff, or I don't want to hear that, that's very toxic. It's time to unhook the umbilical cord now. Yes or no? Absolutely. Because we need to become very bold in our faith. Yes. Not bold where we're obnoxious and people don't want to be around us, but bold that we live our faith out loud yes. and we're not ashamed of it and we make our decisions based upon God's view. Yes. We need to have a biblical worldview. And so people who do not have biblical worldviews, if they are continuing in our life influencing our decisions, our decisions will not be biblically based. Amen. So we need to love people that may not have biblical worldviews, but I can't let them be the influencers in my life. I need to have people in my life that are people of faith, people that have kingdom perception. They are able to perceive a situation and say, this is how the kingdom of God would operate yes. right here, right yes. now. Because whenever Jesus came, he, he always spoke about the kingdom. Yes. Jesus taught us to pray. He said, let the kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, well, when you're God. surrounded by negative people, they're not bringing heaven to earth. Yeah. They're, they don't even believe heaven's around. Right. But we need to say, what does God want in heaven that needs to be happening on earth right now? I want those type of people to surround me. I want those people to influence me. I want those people to be my friends. And whenever I start having an alignment with those type of individuals, my life starts prospering. Oh, wow! Get excited, Arizona! Praise God for Senior Pastor of Skyway Church, Pastor Greg Brown. Don't touch that dial. We're coming right back, and I'm going to have him really elaborate on the negative toxicness that would actually, what I say, could truly ruin your spirit. Because some of you out there that I've talked to, and you know who I'm talking about, it's time now, to, as he says, is reach down and pull up those resources that God put in you to truly eliminate all negative, toxic people in your life. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Big Bell Rokia is having an Oktoberfest sale event. There may not be hot brats and cold beer, but we do have the hottest deals on the coolest cars. Like the 2011 Kia Sorento starting at $19,995. Hurry, Oktoberfest savings ends on Sunday. Wow! Get excited, Arizona. I have to tell you, you really ready to get excited? Do you have any old jewelry laying around? Any old silver laying around? You need some extra cash? I mean, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. And you get the deal with a Christian man. That's right, Bill Zacharias at Z's Jewelers on 75th Avenue and Greenway. I'm here to tell you, there's not a better man. He's done all my jewelry and he's gonna do it from here on out because I love dealing with someone that doesn't try to take advantage of you and that's not Bill's motto. That's Z's Fine Jewelry. Bill understands that there are a lot of jewelers in town and it's important to find someone that you can trust. Bill Zacharias has been a jeweler for over 29 years. Z's Fine Jewelry is located at 75th Avenue and Greenway and they are open Tuesday through Saturday. Call Bill right now, 623-374-7706. That's 623-374-7706. A portion of their business is helping people create extra income. They do this by purchasing their gold, silver, and platinum. 
That's Z's Fine Jewelry at 75th Avenue and Greenway. Call him right now, 623-374-7706. Big Bell Rokia is having an Oktoberfest sale event. There may not be hot brats and cold beer, but we do have the hottest deals on the coolest cars, like the 2011 Kia Soul starting at $11,995. Hurry, Oktoberfest savings ends on Sunday. Get started, get started, get started. Let's get Excited Arizona, we're back and you're watching the Michael Crawford Get Excited Show. When I went to break, I was going to tell you that we we're going to come back and have senior pastor of Skyway Church, Pastor Greg Brown, really elaborate on how it's time now to remove the negative toxic people from your life and your whole environment. What I want you to really get in tune with is what he will talk about also along with that that coincides with that is the alignment with God meaning our covenant. Some people are saying, okay, what is the true meaning of a covenant? Well, that's God's promise to us. He takes full responsibility of everything that was promised to us. He will, in fact, give it to you. He will give it to us. There's no if, ands, or buts. But what you have to do is totally be aligned with Him, with the Holy Spirit. Pastor Greg? That's such a great statement that you're making. Because what happens is with the promise of God usually is followed by a problem. And after the problem is going to come a process. Yes. And the process is getting our life in alignment with God's principles. Amen. And then comes the provision. You know, this, all those P's, they all work together. It's <laughs> nice in the English language. But so whenever we start looking at this and we say, okay, I want to disconnect from the toxic people in my life. And, and you know, I want to love them, but I can't allow them to influence me. That's what we're talking about with disconnect. But what do I connect to? I have to connect to the principles of God's word. His covenant is like you just said. God said, I'm going to do this for you. If you will stay with me, watch what I can do with you. And he has a great track record when we look at the Bible. You know, Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 talks about, look at all these faith, people yes. that when they operated in faith, I came through. I did what I, was going, what I told them I'd do, yes. and they stayed in faith. But they all had problems. Yes. Problems between the promise and the provision, there was that problem, and there's also that process that transforms our life. So we don't think like this world, our mind's transformed. Yes. And you know, it's so important. So when I keep covenant, it's not about me being perfect, but it's about me realizing that as I'm living this life, I have to stay in faith, that what God has said, He will do, that He has a tremendous love for me. He, he, he's given the angels of God charge over me. He, he's given me His word to yes. remind me. Yes. But when the problems come in like this incredible uh, you know, economic downturn okay. that's going on, these problems can get bigger than God for a lot of people. And then we stop focusing on God and we start focusing on our problems. And then that's whenever we let the promises of the covenant go. You know, let's, let's just say for an example, when there's Black Friday and everybody wants to go in at 5 a.m. to get something in an ad. I, I, when I had small children, I drove around, I'd see lines around stores. Those people believed those doors were going to open. Right. You know, they're out there at 3 a.m. They believe doors are going to open. They're so committed. Yeah, they're committed. <laughs> you know, but some of us, we, we're out there and we're saying it's 3 a.m. The doors aren't open. I'm going home. Right. You know, God hasn't come through, but God's like, stay with me. Yes. I'm going to open these doors. Oh, yes, and we need to be more like those people on Black Friday. They believe that they're there at 3 a.m. The doors are open at 5. Yes. We need to get that type of an attitude. Sometimes the people of the world have more more faith in the people of God. Yes, you know, yes. we need to say it's going to happen. Right. And and you know, God brings things back around. Yes. He's so faithful. And so when I see that that if I made a bad choice and and that choice cost me and and it set me back, I can't break covenant and say, "Well, God's given up on me." I need to believe that God has shown me He'll give me another opportunity to learn from my mistakes, yes. operate in faith. I'll get it right the next time. Right. And God will be victorious. He'll be glorified by saying, see, look, I gave Greg another opportunity, and he made it. Amen. And there's a lot of people out there struggling right now, and they're, they're kicking themselves, saying, well, if I would have done this or I wouldn't have done that. God's going to bring this thing back around. Amen. He's going to give them an opportunity to yes. get it right. And the next time it comes around, when you're in covenant, you're going to move to that next level of yes. success. You're going Praise to move God. out of your problems yes. and out of your wilderness. You're going to move into God's purposes. 
That's what he wants. He wants a victorious remnant yes. that's going to come out of this wilderness and say, guess what? We made it. We give God the glory, and we're not ashamed to say that, and that is going to bring Praise glory God. to him, yes. and it's going to bring a harvest of souls. Yes. People are looking for solutions. They're looking for solutions in government, in business, yes. in media. Everywhere we look, they're looking for solutions, and it's time for us to say, you know what? I'm going to stay in covenant with God. I'm going to make it out of my wilderness. And when I come through, others are going to look to me and say, how'd you do that? I'll Amen. say, my God was faithful. Amen. My, God, my was faithful God was faithful because he kept his covenant with me. Yes. Oh, praise yeah. God. Let's, uh, we only have a few minutes left. I really, oh, and, and thank you so much for yeah. coming on the Michael Crawford Get Excited Show. Amen. I just feel your spirit. Uh, I, I love it. I hope everyone uh, out there is uh, enjoying this interview as much as I am. I want uh, Pastor Greg Brown, Arizona, to really get in uh, to the power and the presence of the Lord through prayer. Because So in closing, at a minute and a half, tell them how important, as everything you're saying, it's time now they need to drop to their knees, okay, and really what I call rekindle the covenant. That's good. And what I want to encourage people to do, and this is what I do at our church all the time, is that we get on our knees before God, we humble ourselves before God, and we allow Him to forgive us of our sins. We allow Him to, to remove anything that's in our life that we shouldn't have put in our life. Yes. But then we need to get bold. And our prayers need to move to declarations. And we need to read, what do the promises of God say for me? Yes. And I believe God wants our prayer language to shift from just supplications of forgive me, even though we must pray that prayer. Right, right. But we need to move on and say, God has promised. Yes. And God has declared. Yes. And we need to start, as you read a scripture, and you can put your name in that scripture, every day read the Bible, and you'll read something, and I turn that scripture into a prayer of declaration Amen. that this is what God has spoken over me. It will come to pass, and God is going to watch over it and make it happen. Wow. I become bold in my prayer life, yes. and so I'm very humble before God. But I believe God wants us to be bold in releasing that word that says God is yes. going to do this for me. Wow! Oh, get excited, Arizona! You have just watched the Michael Crawford Get Excited show with my special guest, senior pastor of Skyway Church in Goodyear, Arizona, Pastor Greg Brown. Again, thank you so much, Pastor. Really appreciate it. Uh, and I have to tell you, Arizona, you need now, if you take anything else, out of the interview today, please take this out. It's time to be bold. Get your Bibles and read Proverbs 28. Okay, start off with, like he said, read the Proverbs a day and just doing it. Put your Nikes on and just do it. Do exactly what that scripture says. The wicked flee as no one's pursuing, but the godly are bold as a lion. Praise God until next Sunday. Always remember, it's a Christ-minded attitude, not aptitude, that determines altitude. I love you and so does God. Let's get into it, get stoked, get started, get started, get started. Let's get it started, let's get it started in here, let's get it started. If you would like to make a love gift, large or small, please mail it to Get Excited Ministries, P.O. Box 11176, Glendale, Arizona 85318. This program is made possible by the prayers and contributions of you, the viewer. Oh, <laughs>